Talk to Ed Brothers. Deja has no words for you. You have no knowledge of what you speak to. Go away. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding, you see. So many details to work out. Central Warehouse. All of their shipments go through here. Unfortunately, thanks to some problems they've been having, it hasn't seen much use lately. Either way, it's off limits to you. How should I know? I'll work for them. If you want to help, I suppose you could head to Windhelm and talk to Orthus and Dario. He's in charge over there. for the future and leave the past be. That's been about eight years now. I used to be a mercenary, but one trip to Ravenscar Hollow cured me of that. There's hag ravens in that cave with talons like daggers. They'll open your bowels quick as you wink if you let them get close. A creature like that'll make a man think long and hard about what he wants out of life. That's what I'm here for. What are you offering? enough for me. It's the one with the saddle. If you're heading up to Solitude, you should stop to check out the view on the way. It's a good Is this about... I really don't mean to be rude, but I don't think there's much I can help you with.
Ungen min får du allt. Den skog Ilar av hunger och klagan Men jag ska ge en grisa svans Sånt passar i varje magar Du var i, du var i, kom i Ungen min får du aldrig Du var i, du var i Kom inte hit Ungen min får du aldrig I have no business with you Leave me. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Well, as it turns out, I had a pet skeever when I was a boy, and he used to wink. They were smaller back then. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Magic. You're on the wrong side of Skyrim. You want Winterhold. That college there, they teach it. Otherwise, you can try the Jarl's wizard. I wouldn't, though. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say that Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware the dragon. Let me know if there's anything else you need.
to make requests. Oh, no. But being surrounded by good music, good drink, and good friends is all I've ever asked for. Generally, if you want rumors, you should talk to Corpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the Blue Palace. Only in that I'm a graduate. I work here at the Winking Skeever. I would highly recommend it, though. Talk to Viarmo if you're interested. Sure. What can I do for you? those old rags. Stop by Radiant Raymond. Hello, I'm Gizli. But you can just call me Erica's sister. <sighs> Everyone does. You know, you've got a... No, that was an ugly affair. High King Torig's death has turned the whole town on its head. Between you and me? He wasn't even that good a king. All of those rambling speeches about the Empire this and the Empire that. Baron's my husband. He works the forge up at Castle Dower. I barely see him nowadays, what with him filling orders for the army. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Welcome to the center of the world. Or at least my brother Eric. to White Run. carry herbs and alchemical ingredients, that sort of thing. Before the war, our stock was mostly used for aromatic use in homes. Yes. These days, we have more people like you coming in, looking for healing and the like. No, no. Mostly, I'm just a simple herbalist. Lamy over in Mothal should be able to help you. My daughter, Fura, was assigned to White Run after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. <laughs> Necessary. 
My cousin Fuhrer is somewhere out there in Skyrim right now, fighting Ulfric Stormcloak and his dam's insurrectionists. She wouldn't have to be there at all if it weren't for Rogvir. And my aunt wouldn't have to worry about her daughter. You really don't know. He lets Ulfric Stormcloak escape solitude. Ulfric rides in, murders the High King, and Rogvir lets him ride right back out. Most people head over to the Winking Skeever. If you're not interested in music or drink, you can at least talk to Corvulus. He can fill you in on any of the latest gossip. People to see him places to go, huh? Later then. Spare some gold for a veteran? I was the finest scout in the Legion once. Tracked down all the places in the wilds that were causing people trouble. Lost my helmet in one of the old caves. My pretty, pretty helmet. Life just got worse after that. Kept losing things. So many things. Observation. If I were walking around with a wound, I would want you to tell me to see a doctor. Your outfit is something of an open wound, where a tire is concerned. You're really going to the Blue Palace? That presents an opportunity. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant Raymond. Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. Breeches, gowns, clothes for any occasion, really.
It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. But I prefer the art of wit to that of warfare. What are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. <laughs> soldiers are counting on you. That I am. Train the recruits. Turn boys into men. That sort of thing. Thinking of asking the general for some training books. Give the soldiers something to do while they're at rest. Something besides drinking. Ever seen a book called The Mirror? We used to hand it out to boys looking to learn basic shield work. Good on you. Their aim could be steadier, but they're battle ready. Can any man hope to be ready for a dragon? I can but hone their skills and harden their hearts. The rest is up to the gods. Not my finest hour. Rogvir was a fine and honorable man. No, I think he was entirely wrong. Rogir's execution was justified and necessary. Being honorable might make you a good man, but it doesn't make you right. Be a better world if it did. Generally posting information is need to know only. I... I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. The daughter was sent to Whiterun, 
The skirmishes there have been violent. The White One Legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. Road, strapping men, every tavern, a fortune and gold to be claimed. We have little food or water to spare. General Tullius will never allow that. He's ordered all surplus food to be given over for the war effort. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my rule. Your Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon is under control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for. Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Fall, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragon Age. Thank you, your Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, but rest easy. You're dismissed. Legend, or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury, my husband, he simply ceased to be. That is all I will say, or it grieves me to speak of it. Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torrid was the High King, and I am his widow, now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war. And her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim. And like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very fans ask often.
They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that if General Tullius is certainly ignored, the people of Skyrim would be lost for him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius' leadership. For what other choice do we have? Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. business to tend to. You talk to me. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps phantoms. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, make sure you're repaid for your work. This is enough.